Let's look at the final look. Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're gonna be tackling our pantry. If you are new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to look at more content on my channel. I would love to have you as a viewer and if you are a subscriber already, thank you for coming back and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Get some motivation on and uh, we're going to be tackling our pantry. It's been a while. I actually did one a while ago on my YouTube channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's process. So without further ado let's go and if you're interested in looking um, back of what my pantry used to look like um, my first uh, pantry declutter and cleaning I will link uh, the video up here so you can check that out but this is the current state now um, so down here there's dog food there's dog stuff um, over here there's my ninja foodie some paper plates paper glue paper goods um, my cooking books uh, those are pastas some jars nutrition stuff some uh, baking goods bars snacks there's the fruit some chips All right, guys, when cleaning, decluttering, and organizing uh, space, uh, sometimes we recommend to get everything out of what you're gonna be tackling. But um, this was a lot to tackle. It actually took me pretty much all day on and off between, you know, taking care of the kids and whatnot. But I actually did one shelf at a time so it wouldn't feel so overwhelming. So I will empty it, clean it, um, tidy it, and organize and declutter the things that I was no longer gonna keep. So that's pretty much my approach on this uh, scenario because it was a lot. So now that I had a ton of stuff out on the kitchen counter, um, I was uh, thinking that it was time for me to um, kind of declutter and figure out what I'm going to do and what I'm going to keep. And while I was doing, I found some keto cookies I had there and I was try testing them out. <laughs> and uh, I was actually having breakfast on the go while I was doing this whole project. This whole day was all about this pantry, you guys. <laughs> But it is really rewarding. I mean, I've had it now for a few days and um, just, you know, enjoying this uh, pantry. It sounds very silly and so simple, but these are the joys of uh, little things, you know, what makes you happy. And especially for us that spend so much time in our house, uh, it's important to be in a space that we enjoy uh, and we feel comfortable being plus it's super essential to know what I have in my pantry because a lot of the times I'm gonna tell you an example we have tons of paper little paper plates that we kept uh, buying because we were thinking that we were short on but they were hiding in the back of the pantry that's kind of what the whole um, process of needing to organize this pantry started from uh, there were a few things that we found that we we kept buying thinking that we were short on and they were just hiding in the pantry so having a good inventory and knowledge of what you have especially good uh, in pro in food products uh, since they go bad uh, it's important 
and also cost effective to know uh, how you organize your uh, essentials. I think I've mentioned this before, but I am very visual and uh, I like to see things that look nice to my eyes, I guess. And so part of it is these containers, they just bring me so much joy. <laughs> just seeing everything uh, visually and there were some of those containers that had different like hand grinding labels and I just uh, switched them over to the label maker type of label so it's all uniform and it just lo looks um, a little better but you just work with what you have really I'm gonna show you a little DIY because I was lacking uh, some storage and I just made up a storage out of uh, an empty box. So I'll share with you that. You know, I love uh, going grocery shopping at Costco and Sam's, but the problem with that is that you start getting home and you have chunks of boxes and chunk of stuff, and then you have to figure out how to fit them in your pantry or how to organize them. But uh, I made several pauses throughout this whole process to strategize and find the best way to uh, tackle this and approach it. And that's probably my best advice I can give you. Uh, this is just the way I did it. Um, but obviously different pantries have different uh, limitations and different structures. So you just gotta work with your space and what's available to you. Um, and actually try to enjoy the process because it's super rewarding the after feeling. things for the kids this is all my baking goods and decoration stuff for for uh, and flowers and for baking and I'm afraid that because they come into the pantry they will grab things off of here so right now that's my dilemma I'm trying to figure it out if this is gonna be a good spot for it or if I should switch it somewhere else so let me see So this is the fun part you guys this is the puzzle putting things back in order together figuring out what works what doesn't work so move them, moving them from one place to the other
it's actually kind of funny looking at myself moving things from one side to the other back uh, back down it is uh, just part of the process all right guys we are coming towards the end of this decluttering organization video of my pantry I am putting everything back in place and starting to feel more in control, more in order um, through this process and just doing the final touches. And I was pretty much done, you guys, but then out of the blue, I had this idea with these little hooks to bring a fun little touch that will make this pantry look look much better, especially since it's my like my wine bar kind of thing. I really, really like how it turned out. Guys. This was a long day of organizing this pantry, but the time has come. Let's look at the final look. After I was done I told my husband we're not going to Costco anymore because <laughs> it gets crazy every time we go to Costco between boxes and reorganizing so I hope this pantry stays like that but because it really brings me joy to open up my pantry and just looking at all these tidiness and perfection to me at least super functional for our family so also this is the uh, pile of trash and boxes that I declutter plus some of it that was in the trash can but that was it you guys I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I will see you guys on the next one ciao